Today we're going to be talking about how to block the nickel blitz zero or the double loop defensive meta that we saw Henry utilizing in the MCS Ultimate Kickoff Tournament, specifically again in his game against Dub Dot Dubby. Uh, and Dub Dot Dubby didn't seem to be able to uh, consistently pick up this blitz. There are, and again, Madden 24 is a very inconsistent Madden, so we might not be able to pick up this blitz every single time. That's kind of the way the game plays right now. But we're going to give you, in my opinion, the best pass protection formula as of right now. Now, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of my eBooks, all of my updates, everything. And we've been doing a ton of videos lately on blitz pickups, as well as uh, revamping offensive eBooks and defensive eBooks so that you always have the most optimized way to run uh, whatever it is that we have on the membership site. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, the link's going to be in the description. Patreon members get access to everything, all the updates, every eBook, everything for just 10 bucks. So uh, let me first show the blitz, and then we'll talk about how to pick this blitz up. You can pick any play in bunch, okay? Um, you can pick any play in any formation, okay? It doesn't matter the formation, but the uh, we'll use bunch just because a lot of people run bunch. Okay. So the basic idea of the blitz essentially is we're going to press. We're going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to walk this guy outside. We're going to QB contain, and then we're going to stand about right here. And what you're going to see is we're going to get some loopers coming off of the edge. Now, what makes this blitz super, super good um, is really the right side. Uh, the left side is kind of your standard uh, loop concept. The right side, though, especially with Henry's user being over here, what he was able to, to get pretty consistently was this kind of like almost glitchy either edge or B-gap pressure, depending on how your slide protection would work, okay? So you'll see if I block a running back here, what should happen is, um, and obviously practice mode, not 100% consistent, but... Generally speaking, um, you're still going to get some pressure even if I block a running back. As you see right here, we get that nickel corner coming in off of the edge. So that's a problem, <laughs> um, obviously. Now, the other problem is, and this is why um, Henry actually, you saw him do this out of dollar when he was running dollar uh, DB fire in the next two games he played in the ultimate kickoff. He was basically trying to set up a loop blitz off of the running back side because if you block your tight end against a loop, typically it's going to be able to pick it up um, here we actually get the double edge. And again, you see how good and how glitchy uh, this defense truly is. Okay. So what we're going to do and really the key to stopping this blitz is to get your tight end to secure the back, the right side, and then get your running back to secure the left side. So the way we're going to do this is by alignment, by having a tight end, it does make this a little bit easier to pick up. So if you want to kind of choose a formation, I would recommend having a tight end, I love tight ends that can block and gun bunch and regular gun bunch. You can't block the tight end. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to pick this blitz up. And also just the alignment of that tight end is not uh, a traditional alignment that we want. Like we see right here out of this formation and we get out of other formations such as U-trips. So the first thing that we want to do here is we're going to slide protect to the right. What that's going to do is it's going to tell the offensive line, go to the right side of the screen and stop the loop on the right side. We're going to block the running back. And what I like to do here is we're going to go ahead and ID the uh, cornerback or the outside linebacker, whoever's trying to come in off of that right side. And what you should see here is we're going to block this blitz and we're going to have some time to be able to make a read. Now, one big tip that I want to give you about slide protecting and pass protection, uh, pass protection in Madden is you really, generally speaking, want to set up your pass protection as your last thing. So you don't want to come out and like slide protect and set up a pass protection and then audible or change your route combos. It will mess up the slide protection. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of set up a basic uh, route combination. You know, it might look something uh, like this, for example, and then we'll set up our, our protection. So we're going to slide protect to the right, block our running back, and we're going to ID the outside uh, blitzer on the right, whether that be the slot corner or it be the linebacker based off of how they have set it up because uh, some people will use the linebacker for this. And you'll see right here, able to pick the blitz up and then we're able to make a quick read. Could have hit the drag, could have hit the post. Obviously I'm using two controllers um, trying to show you the user because the user is a big part of this blitz. Now I want to show you how to pick this blitz up if you don't run bunch. So like if you don't run bunch, let's say you just run, you know, really any formation. Um, I'm going to show it out of tight slots. But uh, you could do this. This can, again, cross apply to really whatever you want to run. So in tight slots, it is a little bit different and it's not quite as good. But let's say that you audible to tight slots, you can kind of set it up a little bit better. Really what you're going to get if you're in tight slots is really going to get probably more, more than likely 
you're going to get this uh, double loop just like this. And then the user is going to be over the middle and they're going to use that slot corner in, uh, in coverage. So you see here, let me set this up again and we'll show you. So here's the basics of this blitz and they're going to be standing about right here. So we're going to use the same formula. We're going to slide protect to the right. We're going to block the running back. And then because there's no nickel corner over there, we're going to ID that linebacker that is outside. And what you'll see if I snap this, uh, snap the ball here we get pretty decent pass protection um you know and then you've got obviously you got to put route combos on the field they're going to be man because this is a, generally speaking a man-to-man -man blitz so the general principle is we're going to slide away from the running back block the running back and we're going to id away from the running back as well and uh typically this will pick the blitz up now let's show it to you out of like uh let's say we were in like a tray open uh so we, we just have the running back to protect and I'll show you what this looks like. So let's say you're, you're, you're in this right here. A lot of times what they're not going to do is they're not going to typically slide that nickel corner all the way inside. It makes a lot more sense for them just to set it up like this. And then they could potentially slide this guy in. I'll show either, either one. But basically, if they do that, then obviously, you know, you're going to be able to, you know, maybe they set up a, a coverage defense or whatever, uh, however they want to adjust this but they're going to have to use the running back in this. Okay. So we're obviously blocking him for pass protection purposes, but just know that because you can always throw your running back on a quick route uh, to beat the blitz. So same protect protection. We're going to slide to the right. We're going to block the running back and we're going to ID here. And uh, what you should see here is we get the blitz for the most part kind of picked up. It was kind of to a degree coming in over there on the right side, but for the most part, we're going to pick this up and the beauty of this is now we're going to be able to, you know, have time to make reads right over the middle or however we want to, again, structure the route combos. If they run this version of the blitz um, where they're using the linebacker, um, for some reason, my ID is being weird. You want to ID over here. Same basic thing. And you see able to pick the blitz up and have something that beats man basically is the idea. So that is how to pick up the Henry blitz at least right now. Um, as far as what I know, probably the best method to pick this blitz up. If you guys want to learn how to pick up every blitz in the game or learn how to use every blitz in the game, join the Patreon. We, we have offensive and defensive ebooks, but we also have uh, blitzing ebooks, pass protection guides, all of that stuff for you. And members get access to everything. 10 bucks gets you access. The link's going to be down in the description below. So to sign up, just head down to the description and click the link down below.